I'm going to show you how to build a complete directory listing website in about two minutes. Not a template, not using a plugin, a complete directory with professional menus, hero section, six directory cards to get us started, a add a new listing section, an about us, privacy, terms of service, blog listing page, and an SEO blog. And this will all be deployed live pretty much within a couple of minutes. Let me show you how. So the tool we're going to be using to build our directory listing site in just a couple of minutes is gitpage.site. It's recently just been upgraded to include the building of directories using AI. And the actual site we're going to be building today is this one. And I'll show you every step and also how you can customize it to make it your own. So once we're logged in, we just head up to the site builds menu and we're going to click on directory builder. Choose Anthropic. You can do it in English, French and Spanish. I'll stick to English. And then it's going to ask us what is the main heading for our directory. So I've just put in digital product showcase. What is our color scheme? I've only got one option at the moment. It's standard. What is your hero statement? I've just put in best AI directory listing with free apps. It's going to ask you for card details and there are six cards you need to fill out. So the first input area here, we have the product service. So for apps, for example, we're going to have you know, SEO writer or AI writer, whatever. Short description, that's the description of the app and then the link. Now, this is where if you're an affiliate marketer, this is where you want to put your affiliate link in so you get that commission. Now, once you've completed all six, basically, a wheel's going to spin on the screen, it's pretty boring, and your site is going to be built. So let's go and take a look at the finished product. Okay, so the build has finished. We have a header menu with menu buttons that work. We have a hero section. We have a call to action here, so new listings can be added. And we have this grid of our six cards. Now, I've got fairly light on in terms of descriptions, but you can add a much more detailed description if you want. This is just a demo. So we have the the title of the, the app in this case, you know, professional design tools from modern creators, and then learn more. This is a live link and it's going to go off to that website. And we also have the categorization of the tools as well. So design, analytics, marketing, etc. We start with six and I'm going to show you how to increase that if you wanted to have 12 or 18 or whatever it is. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. Next, we have this other call to action section with submit your listing. Now, the way this typical will, will work is you would add like a type form or a jot form link. And so when the user clicks it, it'll allow them to fill it in and send you those details to add the next listing. A bit further down, you can have a section which is about your directory. Down the bottom, we have the, the footer. It, all of these links do work. We can click on the privacy policy. We have the terms of service. And we have our blog. Now, this will take us to our blog listing page. It generates the first blog. And this is really a placeholder blog. I wouldn't necessarily call it a full SEO blog. So just to be clear how all of this works, there is a one-time fee for gitpage.site, but you can generate unlimited directories, websites, stores. The hosting is 100% free. You own the code. You can add a custom domain for, for no additional charge. So once you have your base directory, obviously you want to make changes to it. Let me show you how to do that. In order to understand how we customize this site, we just need to go back a little bit. When gitpage.site is building the directory, it is storing the files that it's generating into a GitHub repository. So this is the actual repository for the site we were looking at. And you can see there is a readme file blog file, index, privacy, terms, and also within the blog folder, we should be able to see that, that first blog. The important one, if we want to change that home page, it's going to be this index.html file. Now, don't freak out if you don't understand HTML. I'm going to show you the easiest way to modify this. Now, because we're using GitHub, it makes sense to use GitHub Copilot to make the modifications, and it's all pretty seamless. So, what we want to do is click on this HTML file here, uh, the index.html, sorry, and we're just going to copy it. Okay, I'm on VS Code now. If you don't have VS Code, just go to Google, download it. It's totally free. Once you've installed it, you're going to get something that looks like this. 
the first step is we're just going to create a new file and you can actually call it pretty much whatever you like as long as it ends in .html. So we will call it index.html just to keep things simple. And now I'm just going to paste in the code we got from our GitHub repository. Next, we want to make three changes. The three changes I'm going to make here just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to put an announcement bar at the top of the directory. We're going to have like a live event, something like that. And then I'm going to add six new cards. So six new directory listings. And then I'll also update the link for the CTA to go off to another site just to show how you can update those other links on your site. And hopefully from this, you will actually know how to make any kind of modification or change to your directory that you need to make. We're going to use GitHub Copilot. It is free, but to use it, you do need to install the extension. So just over on the side here, you can see this says extensions. If you click on this and type in Copilot, it'll be the one that comes up that has about 70 million downloads. Just press install and that's it. Okay, now we can do the fun stuff. Just head up the top and click on this little icon here and open chat. Just going to make this a bit wider. Now I have pre-drafted a prompt in here so I'm just going to paste it in. So what I'm going to ask is I need you to add an announcement banner above the header menu at half height of the header. The background color should be blue to purple gradient left to right. The text on the banner should read register for the next live event and when hovered anywhere on this announcement banner it should increase in size to indicate it's clickable and if the user does click on it it should go to the site ambitious.gg just for example, one thing that's really important to note here, if you see this little drop down here, click on it and one says ask, one says edit, one says agent. If you ask in ask mode, it'll just give you an answer. If you're in edit, it'll just modify the file that you're on. And in agent mode, it's agentic. So it will go off and do whatever it is it thinks is required to get the job done. So for this one, I will just put in agent mode and see what it does. All right, so you can see in the description here, it said it's successfully made all those changes. Next, we want to add six more directory cards. So I'll just add the prompt in and we'll let it do its thing. Now, if all this stuff is a bit new to you and you find yourself needing a bit of help, just click the link and join my community and I can help you out with it. All right, so Copilot in agent mode's gone off and done this. It's added the six new cards. It's added Smart AI Assistant, Shop Genius, Budget Master, etc., etc., in the different categories. That is now looking pretty good. We've got our 12. So the last thing we want to do is just ask it to update the call to action to add a new listing. I'll just hit go on that one. Okay, it says it has successfully updated the two main CTA buttons to, to this URL in the hero section and the submit listing, which is exactly what I wanted. You can review the changes here, but I'm going to say they're all good now. So I've just said keep. All I need to do is copy this and I will take it back over to our GitHub repo, paste it in, and we will get it live. All right, we're back over in our GitHub repo. Click on this little pencil icon to edit the file. I'm just going to delete the entire file that's here. Paste in the new one. Commit the changes. That looks great. And this will save it. And now within maybe 60 seconds, two minutes or so, this will redeploy live to the web and we can take a look at it. So this was our original directory. Now, if we want to see the improvements, we just got to refresh. And this is the upgraded one. So you can see at the top now we have this announcement bar and you get a slight effect as you hover on it. The other change we made is we added some more listings. You can manually update these headings, the description and the link, all the cards, all the hard stuff. all done. It's just the basic information to update. So this is a static site. It doesn't have a database and that's why it's free to host. You never pay any hosting fees, no more WordPress or anything like that. 
no plugins, nice and easy. The other change we made was down here, we updated the, the CTA. So this goes to ninja200.online. I don't know if you can see that right down in the bottom left corner, but that's been updated as well. So by generating the site, you can get a really quick build of a directory and using GitHub Copilot, you can modify it as much as you like, including adding blogs, updating the blog listing, all of that good stuff. So if you would like to try it out, it will be the first link in the description. And if you need help with it and also help with digital marketing and taking your skills to the next level, click the second link in the description. And if you'd like to know how to use gitpage.site to build a website or a store, check out these videos here. Catch you in the next one.